Rap is a music producer. It's Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com. Have you ever said to yourself, I hate my job? I hate going to school. I hate having to do all these things. Why can't I just work on music? Uh, let's talk about it. Rappers and music producers, we have all hit a rut at one point in time in our lives. We all get to places on a, you know, it happens to all of us. We get to a place where it's like, you know, I just, I dislike where I am at. I don't like this. I don't know what the purpose of it is. I feel like it's not my purpose to be here. Why am I here? What am I wasting my time doing? And that was me when I worked at Quiznos, the sandwich restaurant, sandwich place, kind of like Subway. I worked at Quiznos and I put my uniform on. I remember going into the work and being like, man, I can't stand the smell of some damn carbonara. Turkey ranch and Swiss. You get your own turkey ranch and Swiss from around this window. Hey, get your fingers over the, stop putting your fingers over the top of this food. I never said that, but I wanted to say that. Somebody said, could you saute my onions? I said, could you saute your ass to red lobster? And I didn't say that, but in my mind I did, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it, fam. It was not fulfilling to me. But something that I had the epiphany of when I was doing a lot of reading this week is that that you and I both know that there are moments that happen to us when we're really happy, we're in a place where life is in a better place, where we say, man, there were hints that life was giving me two years ago, one year ago, four years ago. There was hints that life was giving me that things were going to get here. You ever had a situation where it's like, Damn, I feel so lucky that that particular bad thing happened to me because it made my life extraordinarily better because that thing happened, right? I've had evictions and I've had repos and I realized that there was a story in every single one of those situations where I thought it was the worst time of my life. Even when I couldn't afford toilet paper, I couldn't afford food. There's another story there. There's another narrative. If you really look deeply, there's another narrative and it's a lot easier to see it back in hindsight you know, your vision is 2020 in hindsight, as they say, but it's a lot easier to look back there and think to yourself, oh, that's why I had to go through that. Because if I didn't go through that, I would not be where I'm at today. That being said, if that time period was responsible for where you're at today and you're in a better place, okay, we're going to assume you're in a better place. If that time period was responsible for it and all those lessons that you were learning were necessary. And in that point in time, that was, that, that, that literally was the blueprint and the framework for where you're at today. Don't you wish you would have gave that time period a little bit more energy? You might be even in a better position than you are today. But when you're in it, it's so easy to whine. It's so easy to complain. It's so easy to be angry, especially when you're at a job that you don't like. I get it, fam. But here's my thing. I've been studying a term called Dharma, which you know can be interpreted in many different ways. But it's a term that for a lot of people, they kind of generally see it as your Dharma is your duty or your purpose. And so what I started doing this week, I started to think to myself, what was my duty first of all when I was working? What was my duty there, right? What was the purpose of me being there? What was my dharma there, okay? And if I think back and I say, you know what? As much as I couldn't stand the fact that we weren't getting paid what we were supposed to be getting paid, we got paid in personal checks, we had the air conditioner turned off and it would get dummy hot during the summer. As many things as I could complain about with that job, my duty there was to be the best employee that I could be to that employer. Now, for some of you, I say those words, you be like, bro, that's the sellout way. What the hell? I ain't about to be the best employee. They need to pay me like the best employee. Maybe I change, Sean. You shouldn't be looking like that, but you get what I'm getting at. And I and I feel you. I feel where you're coming from. I understand it. Like, why should you give your all if that company is not going to give you give you your all, right? Well, here's the thing about it. If you are going to go to this job and give it your time and accept payment for that time, you have a duty. You have a duty to give your best. And it's not just a duty to the employer, because that is your duty for the employer, right? It is your duty to your future as well. Keep going, Curtis. It is your duty to your future as well. If there are things that are happening right now that are literally like like a puzzle piece coming together and these pieces you can't really tell what this puzzle is going to be but there's puzzles that are fitting together people that you're meeting right people that don't really make sense in your life right now at least you don't think they make sense like why 
why'd this person come in here? Why are we friends? That's crazy, but whatever. Maybe it's, you know, you, you, you finally started to speak to a neighbor. Maybe you started to speak to somebody that you never spoke to at work. Maybe you're now starting to kick it within an audience or a crowd that you never really kicked it with. Maybe you're starting to go to studio sessions that you don't really have a place there, you don't think, but you're starting to get invited to them. Maybe it's you're starting to work in different types of music that you never really were interested in, but you're kind of dabbling into it. What's happening, my friend, is that it's a puzzle piece starting to come together. Life is starting to happen for you instead of to you. Tony Robbins always talks about the fact that life is always happening for you and not to you. So no matter what circumstances you are in currently right now, if you begin to look at life like this right now, deserves 100% of my attention. This deserves 100% of my effort. You win, not the employer. You win, not the university. You win, not the people who are forcing you to do whatever it is that you're doing right now. You win. Not your bill collectors. You win. Why? Because you win in the long game. Why? Because there is a day after today. There's a day after tomorrow. There's a year after this year. You win. Giving it your all today means that you win tomorrow. You must. It is your duty. It is your dharma and your job to give your most as an employer. Even if you don't like the job and even if you'd rather be working on music. That's your duty. So for those of you that are still skeptical about that, let me ask you this. Do you really feel like success is going to come to you by literally half-assing every other aspect of your life except for music? Do you think that that sounds like the recipe for success or a recipe that's going to ruin the very blessing that you're preparing yourself for. It is your duty to give your all to everything that you're doing. Whoever you believe in, whomever you believe in, and whether it's God, whether it's the universe, I believe in God and I believe that there is a payment, there is a reward at the end of hard work, at the end of smart work, at the end of diligence, at the end of fulfilling your duty. This is all part of the natural order of things, the way things are supposed to happen. If you're falling in line with that, I am of the belief, especially with my life today, I see it fam, I see it. Had I not gone through the things that I went through, had I not been diligent, had I not been the best that I could give to that situation, I would not be living the life that I am today. This is the reward. And even now puzzle pieces are coming together for an even bigger reward. It's just up to you to understand what your Dharma is. It's up to you to understand what your purpose is. What is your duty and what you're doing right now? If you are a student right now, man, give it all that you have. Give it everything because that mentality is going to carry over into your music. And when your music starts to become a more studious or a more uh, statistic-based occupation, which it can be if you're doing your own numbers and your own check balances and your own money, and you're looking at your PayPal and trying to do the math of, okay, well, how much money should I be generating the next month? All those math classes that you didn't like to be attentive in, including me, I'm pointing a finger back at me, they all start to become a little bit more significant than they were at that point in time. Give it your all right now, no matter what you're doing, because it's important to the thing that you want to do the most. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its full Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com